All right, I'm probably gonna do this street race. This will be the end because I can't I can't advance anymore in this beta at this point. I've done as much as I can. So I'll do one more street race. Right here. What, what happened? Teal, the champion made oh. his bones. If you win here, it's damn certain you're going to attract his attention. There we go. Two, one. Three, two, one. Blast off. It's not like Mario Kart when you press the button. Uh, you could have speed boost, huh? Where are we? What the hell is this castle? What the fuck? Where is this supposed to be? A fucking castle. And of course I get past. Of course. What the hell are we? We're in an airport. What the fuck is this? This ain't right. We're not supposed to be here. This is not legal at all. We should not be here. <laughs> Some of the fences you can drive through and some you can't. It's hard for me to tell what I can drive through and what I'm supposed to just like tear through as a shortcut. See, like there I thought I was gonna hit a tree, but I was okay. Pour a little more of that on and I see the winner circle in your future. Wow, he hit me in the ass and I, I should have gotten a speed boost. He did stay. Okay. Very realistic. Alright, here's the castle again. I guess we're doing a second lap. See, now that, that fence, you can't, you can't break through. But the other ones that I hit, I could. It's so weird. That one I can. Why? Very confusing. Well, I had a lot of nitrous saved up. That one I can. Going back to the airport. No, no police cut off this fucking shortcut to the airport yet. So how will this game compare with Sonic Team Racing coming out later this year? That's the real question. This is the Crew 2 or Sonic Team Racing, the superior racing game. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, just about done. Well, I, did, I took the turn a lot better this time. I actually won the race. Holy shit, I won. I won. I won. All right, so Emperor Swaggins cheered. And he says, feel like until you're sold on the game, I can't wait to watch you play, buy the full retail release. No, actually, I'm going to buy the full $100 release for sure. Why wouldn't I spend $99.99 on this amazing, marvelous fucking game? Um... Shout out to Sidello who cheered and he said, what do you think of the game so far? Well, guys, since there's really nothing else to do in the game, I guess I'll give you my honest thoughts. I think the game's boring as dirt. I mean, I'm not, no lie, I played it for about an hour and 40 minutes now. I'm pretty bored. Um, you would think, what the fuck? You would think that a game, right? A game with a map of the United States with so much, so much content, supposedly, and four different types of races. Street races, off-roading, boating, and aerial races would be interesting. However, the aerial races aren't races. The aerial races are just stunt challenges, at least for the two that were in the beta. So you're really not racing anyone. You're just trying to get points. That's kind of okay for the first couple times, but I know that's going to get boring. The boat racing seems terrible. Like, it doesn't really look like you could do anything to be better at boat racing besides just don't hit shit and do like, try to make very narrow corners. Um... In the two boat races I did, I made no errors, yet the computer at the very last minute surpassed me to make first place no matter what. So that was shit. The off-roading seemed really bad, because it's hard to tell where you're supposed to go, and you're not racing other people, instead you're racing a ghost, so that ends up being very boring. The street racing seems alright, but 
For example, as I explained in that shoe race I did earlier, there were some sharp turns. I couldn't seem to figure out how to drift the car at all. I just recently played a racing two racing games where I was able to easily drive and drift the cars. So, quite frankly, um, I'm not too impressed. I thought this game would be a lot better. I thought that it would have variety going between. You have races where you're going between the cars and stuff, or jumping between the different kinds of race, or just something to interest me. It's very not not very interesting at all. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of boring. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there's some factor of the game I'm missing out on. But four kinds of races. The plane's boring. The boat's boring. The off-road's boring. This street racing is just kind of met with weird controls. I don't know, man. You know, I played... Last year, I played uh, Need for Speed, whatever the fuck it was called. The Payback. Those controls were better than the racing in this. Uh, even though I didn't like that game. Um... And recently, what was the other one I played? Uh, what was it? Burnout? Burnout Paradise? Burnout Paradise is way better than this game, in my opinion. Even though that game doesn't really have a story, the, the challenges of the driving were actually much better. It was very repetitive, but I actually think I like Burnout Paradise much better than I like this. So, quite frankly, I'm very happy that I played this beta and I got into the closed beta. Because I can tell you guys wholeheartedly that at least after, for me, for an hour and 45 minutes of playing... Um, I really have no desire to play it. Now, you, it could be different for you. If racing games are your cup of tea, if racing games are something that you love and you absolutely are into cars, but now you want variety, it's not just cars, but now you've got boats and planes, cool. But for someone like me who's looking for like a more arcade style game, this was really boring. And I'm glad that I took the time to play it so I know not to buy the full release. Because honestly, I was after the E3 hype for it last year. I was actually looking at it. I was like, man, this game looks really good. Now that I played it, I'm like, eh, nope. <laughs> I'm not getting it. There's no reason to get it. I'll be bored, man. Oh, yes. Emperor Swaggin says, it's a shame that you do think this masterpiece is boring. I'm going to buy multiple copies of the game, so I will donate one to you. <laughs> sure. Mark McCauley, today 220-bit cheer to become tonight's cheerleader, by the way. He says, Max Payne 3 Redemption Run, says the king of hypocrisy. What are you talking about? Anyway, um, that's going to be it. There's really nothing else to do. There's one one other street race and one off-road race I didn't do, and I've seen all the content of the beta. I'm so unimpressed. I really just, I'm not going to do the other two things. The, that one off-road race was terrible, and the other street races were kind of meh. So, for the Crew 2 open beta, or closed beta, excuse me, not my cup of tea. Maybe you guys will like it. All right, maybe. That's up to you. To judge for yourself if you like racing sim style games for me i'm looking for more of an action style maybe a little bit of a, a story to it some more you know action based stuff that's going to hook me this did not hook me at all after playing the four kinds of races i think it's kind of boring and it will become incredibly repetitive and more of a grind and probably not too entertaining but for you guys maybe it would be right and just think right bruce legend just said i almost bought the gold version by accident just by playing the beta and just clicking x I almost fucking bought the game by accident looking over here. So be careful if you pay the beta. They're trying to trick you into buying the game. All right. All right. Uh, that is it, guys, for this uh, Crew 2 beta. Uh, it's a no-go for me. Two thumbs down, but it may be good for you depending on if you like the style of game. Thanks for watching, whether you watched on YouTube or you watched on uh, on, uh, live on stream. Okay. Have a good evening. And see you later for more stuff, hopefully better games than this in the future. Peace out.